Hey guys, I know I have not made a video in a very, very long time, but this video has been on my list for the longest time. And now that I've been self-quarantined in my house due to the coronavirus, I thought what a great opportunity to come here and share what I've been meaning to share with you guys for a very long time. Just so you guys know, Mr. Romeo is here. So in case he comes into the video or you hear his little caller, don't mind. Say hi. This is our star guest, Romeo. Not having it, not pleased. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. So I hope the title of this video kind of caught your attention and you're probably like, what the heck is she talking about? What's going on? You know, no one talks about this. So yeah, that is exactly why I want to make this video because this is a topic that no one talks about. You know, no one really mentions mental health. Yes, in the last few years, people have been starting to open up about it, but not as enough as not enough. Okay. There's many of us. You know, from the day that you're born till today, I can guarantee it that there are some issues that you've had to deal with. You know, there's people out there with depression, anxiety, bipolar, you know, overly stressed, self-esteem issues, trust issues, so many issues like being bullied, you know, having not knowing your self-worth. There are problems out there, my friends. And you know what? I'm speaking from my personal experience. I am being completely vulnerable and honest in front of you guys because... I want you to know that behind this smile, there was a lot of heartache and broken heart and a lot of stress and anxiety and self-esteem issues. And you know, I got bullied. And over the time from the, da from the time I was born till today, I've worked on myself to get over that. I've worked on myself to get healed and not to bring those problems into my future relationships, okay? Uh, one thing that I've noticed in our community, in our culture, what we've been told and taught is as things happen in our life and as we deal with stress and anxiety and, you know, issues, we're told to suppress it. We're told to suppress it. It's okay. You'll be fine. Don't worry about it and hold it down and put a fake smile on your face and go, go deal with life day to day to day. But we've, we've never been put into a, a corner and say, hey, let's, let's talk about your issues. Like, you know, your parents will never come up to you and be like, hey, let's talk about your issues. Your friends don't come up to you and say, hey, why are you so insecure? Because that's not normal. Today in society, we don't talk about that shit. You know, we're looked upon. If we start sharing our feelings, we're scared that people are going to think we're weak and we're not. You know, you're just being completely honest with yourself. You're dealing with shit that you've been through. So in the past few months, a lot of people have been coming up to me and, you know, sharing what's going on in their life. And, you know, I've started to notice signs in other people that I had in myself. Okay. And these were signs that when I started noticing this in myself, I was like, okay, Jyoti, like you need to get help. You know, like this is not how you can live life. Like I had this heavy burden. I had so much resentment and anger and frustration, but I never knew why. Why? Because I was so used to hiding my feelings to the fact that I didn't even know what I was feeling. Okay. So some of the signs that I had that I'm starting to notice in other people is, you know, um, a lack of a lack of interest, I didn't want to do anything, a lack of energy, I wanted to sleep in, a lack of personal care, you know, you don't want to do your hair and makeup, you don't want to eat healthy, you overindulged in bad food, drugs, alcohol, you know, you didn't want to be in public, uh, I, I noticed my mood would switch from like being happy to instantly being angry, I would explode on people, I'd be frustrated, I'd be agitated, like I just, right then and there I was like, girl, you gotta deal with something, man. There's something deep inside your health, that, in your heart that you haven't dealt with and you gotta go get help. And so I did. Um, I was pretty quiet about it and a lot of people knew that I went for counseling, but here I am sharing with you my story. About two years ago, I started going for counseling. I have a great counselor at Calgary Counseling and I have a great life coach. I, I talk about her all the time. And these women just started kind of like, not tearing me apart, but they kind of started like, un unpeeling this onion of layers of my life you know where did your abandonment issues started from oh they started when i was one. Oh, where did your self-esteem issues start from oh they started when i was in grade nine when i got bullied and people told me i was fat and ugly you know where does your self-identity issues come from oh uh you know i got i got people talked shit about me being christian you know where does your you know your your fear of love come from oh that came from my relationships where does your fear of success come from oh that came from my business partners and all this shit started coming up and i'm like holy shit i've dealt with a lot and if i dealt with a lot i know 100 you've dealt with a lot because a lot of people 
deal with shit. This life is filled with shit. And the thing is, we don't confront it because we're so used to just putting it on the side, letting it pile up, and we'll deal with it later, or we run away from our problems, and then they're, but they're always inside of us. And the problem is these issues that we don't deal with, these, these problems, these insecurities that we don't deal with and we don't heal ourselves, sooner or later they start affecting people that are in our, in our circle, you know? People that we love and trust, we work with, you know, we care about. Because of our insecurities and our, un, our broken heart, that these feelings start to trickle into our relationships. And sooner or later, what's gonna happen is you're gonna explode because you've held in these feelings for so long, you're gonna end up losing the people that you love the most, the people that love and care you, care about you, or you're gonna end up hurting them, extremely, extremely hurt them, okay? And then the last thing is you're probably gonna lose them for the rest of your life and you're gonna live with that regret forever. So I'm, I'm in this position and the only reason I'm making this video is I'm like pleading and begging you to put yourself in your room for like two, three hours, start journaling. This is when I started figuring out that I kind of need help. I started journaling my feelings and I started like wondering why, why do I feel agitated? Why does this person bother me? Why do I believe other people's lies? You know, like what, what do I need to work on? What do I need to do? And that's when I started healing. That's when I started connecting with myself again. I, I started to know what my self-worth was, what my self-esteem is, who I am, what my purpose is. I started analyzing my feelings and you know, I started, lightening up this heart of mine that had such a heavy burden man i am like asking you like do not be afraid to go out and get help you know society may make it seem like that you're weak but you are not that's the most courageous step that you can take is admitting it and going out and getting help put your pride and ego aside and do it for yourself because you love yourself and do it for people that are around you because you don't want to hurt them and you don't want to lose them you don't want a life full of regret. You don't want to live a life of a heavy burden of stress and anxiety. I'm sure you don't. So I really hope that you go seek out help. I really hope this video helps you. You know, here I am telling you what I went through and I'm sure one day you're going to probably come share those feelings with me or with someone else and that can help save people's lives because mental health is a big issue and if you don't deal with it, 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 it can catch up. I promise it will. It will catch up to you and it will take away your peace and sanity and it will hurt the people around you and you don't want to do that okay so best of luck and if you have any questions or concerns you come come ask me okay bye